Okay, I've just sponged the background. Um, um, I'm going to do a vase of flowers. This curve should be the same as this curve. And this one would be the same if you could see through this. It would be there. So, but you can't see through it. Now if you keep your brush strokes in that angle, it'll give the illusion of the roundness. And then go back into your clear. You'll have a little bit of blue still on your brush. So it'll be something like this. Okay, so I'm going to have my light source coming from this way. So this will be dark. So I'm going to create my... I'll go back in here on my table. And a little bit of my shadow cast underneath. So this would be the darkest place on the base as well. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white to my brush. I'm going to start adding light to it. This part being shaded because my light source is coming from this direction. Now I'm going to add a little bit more white to my brush. Just a little. I don't want a big gobs because we're working very gradually here. So I've just got a little bit on there. And this time I'm going to touch the edge. Bring it around in that little bit of an angle. Go right to the edge. So I have some dark green, some yellow, and some clear floating medium on my palette. The clear medium is basically in the place of water. We don't use water because it would make the colors blend totally together. We want them to stay separate for this to make our brush glide easily as well. So I want to load my brush and keep my edge nice and flat and sharp. I'm going to load one side with the dark green, the other side with a little bit of yellow. My light source is coming from this direction, so I'm going to face my highlight, which is the yellow, towards my light source. 
and I'm going to, I don't want to go below this rim because I want it to be coming from inside the pot. So I'm going to stay, keep my brush straight out from my canvas. The harder I push, the thicker the leaf will go. So I'm just going to touch and push a little bit because this is fern and I'm going to drag it right up. And I'm going, I'm going to go up a little higher, so I'm just going to go over that again, which is okay to do. And now I'm going to push and lift. And I'll put as many of these as I want. A nice way to make these as well, give them a little curve. And that's just doing the same thing. When you're ready to go to the point, you just lift. Um, a lot of this will be covered with flowers. I keep loading my brush the same way, green on one side, yellow on the other, keep it nice and sharp, yellow or highlight towards where your light source is coming from, keep your brush straight out from your canvas and control the width of your stem or leaf, whatever you're making, petal, with how hard you push. and. Go in the direction with what we're doing now, we're following the direction of our brush. So okay, so now I want to make a curvy one. So again, my brush all set up and I'm gonna go in the direction that I want my fern to follow. like having one and you go right over your pot Here I'm just going to put some very faint, because this will be behind flowers, and I want some green, quite a bit of green actually, behind my flowers. <laughs> 